Hello YouTube, welcome to my channel. I'm Oz Rodriguez and I'm large and in charge. I'd like to welcome all the newcomers and to all 129 subscribers or repeat offenders, thank you for your support. So in today's video we're going to discuss patterns and how to use them to elevate your style. There are many types of patterns and when combined correctly it can take your style game to the next level. However, if combined incorrectly it could immediately turn your outfit into a clown show just like that. Now because there are so many different types of patterns we're just going to talk over general pattern mixing and matching rules on this video. We'll get more into specific patterns on future videos. Like colors, patterns can add that little extra flair to an outfit to make you stand out from the crowd. However, as a beginner, you want to start small. You definitely don't want to step out and stand out in the, uh, from the crowd in a bad way. Like I said, start small, incorporate patterns in your accessories, for example, the tie or a pocket square. Now, once that becomes a little more second nature and uh, you develop a little more confidence, then you can expand it and take it to maybe a shirt or, or a sports coat. Um, whatever you do, make sure you do not match the patterns. There's a secret to combining patterns and matching is the absolute biggest no-no. There are three keys to mixing patterns, size, scale, and proportion. Start small. In the example showed, we have a plain white shirt and white pocket square. The pattern on the coat is smaller and more dense than the pattern on the tie. Notice the difference in the size, scale, and proportion between the two patterns. Once you have a little more confidence and feel like you want to go bigger, you can look at our next example. Notice that the check pattern on the shirt is much smaller than the check on the tie and the window pane on the jacket. In reference to scale, there are a lot more checks on the shirt than there are on the other two articles of clothing. Also notice that the proportions of the patterns are different on the coat as well as the tie. In this example, we forego the tie and go with the shirt, pocket square, and sports coat. Notice the polka dots on the shirt are a lot smaller and more dense than the patterns on the sports coat and the pocket square. That said, the pocket square and the jacket have a different in size and proportion, allowing them to flow and complement each other, not looking like a clown show, rather a well put together outfit showing a great ability to mix patterns. For our final example, we have a dress shirt with pink and blue squares, a striped sports coat, and a paisley pocket square. Notice that all of the patterns are of different sizes and density on their respective garments. Also, take a look at how the pink and blue pocket square complement both the shirt and the jacket, making for a very cohesive ensemble. So that's going to be it for today's video. As always, I value your feedback and look forward to hearing from you in our comments. If you liked what you saw, please consider subscribing and make sure you hit that notification bell so you don't miss any future videos. Also, feel free to share the video as it does help the channel to grow. I want to thank you for joining me today. And until the next time, I'm Alex Rodriguez, and I am large and in charge.